Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough and tutorial series for Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode we started to take over some more territory and with any luck we'll be able to finally usurp back the title for the Kingdom of Denmark here. So let's see right now it is currently owned by Dorfin Gotski. Uh, and we're able to do it. The only problem is he's still at war. So he's only involved in one war right now. Looks like he's losing that war as well. So, we'll uh, just have to let him be for the time being and hopefully... Well, you know what? We're gonna forbid our liege from leading any troops just to make sure that he stays alive because if he dies that would really suck. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to continue taking over some land. Probably next best bet is had to take over further lands in this duchy here. So it looks like we can attack this guy. He has a couple different locations here. Mm -hmm. Let's just go and take this one. That should work. So we'll declare a war, the conquest of Astoku. Doesn't look like we'll have any issues with it, so we'll start the war there. Call in our allies, and I didn't know that he had so many people that he's bringing in. Does he have any... he's almost to the point of being able... Oh, he does have some event spawn troops. Ugh. But we have 4,000, so with any luck we should be alright. I hope anyways. Because even if he brings forth the tribal army, which he looks like he just did. Or he has something going on here. He has a lot of... He has a hell of a lot of event spawn troops. What the hell? Alright, well let's do an event spawn force of our own then. So these guys, we'll put them together. We have Ragnar there. Oh, actually, Tost will lead the middle, then Orvar, then Holmgar. And this whole force will be led by Ragnar. Okay. Um, I don't really want to gain Cruel, so we'll just do that. Okay. Let's head over here, take out these guys. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill Ada. Oh dear. This is worrying. Also, Ada's old enough now that I can actually arrange a marriage for him. Who should he marry? Probably someone with decent intrigue, I'm thinking. Gilda here has decent intrigue. Uh, being a theologian, she's not as fertile, though. Envious, deceitful. Hmm. We definitely don't want someone who's weak. That just hurts everything, so yeah, we definitely don't want that. Um. Well, looking at all of this... Mm. Oh, this one's strong. She's Sunni, but she is strong. And it looks like she'll take it, so you know what, we'll do it. And they accepted it. The mere sight of Ragnar fills you with contempt. Challenge the cure to Holmong, single combat duel, to finally settle your differences once and for all. He's 13, I'm at 22. But I'm gonna hold off on doing it only because I don't wanna die. Because if we die, all of this breaks apart. So we need to stay alive long enough that we can uh, take over control here. Ah! 
And who just died? Gurley the Unfaithful. Voraciously devoured by Herman of Herman's host. Oh. <laughs> well, that's uh, interesting. Bishop Urdak, a preacher in the service of King Drosten of Picklin, has arrived in Sealand to spread the gospel of their foreign religion. He has little regard for our old faith, declaring it sinful, and explained in detail the horrors we shall suffer in the afterlife unless we mend our ways. Uh, let him do his missionary work, you know. Could potentially be useful for us. Alright, so I'm going to try something that I've seen Arumba do in some of his things. Hopefully it works. I cannot believe it, dear Skirly, my hero lady. You are gone from this world and I am left behind. Alone and heartbroken, I will never hold you in my arms again. Was I sleeping with Gurley? Siblings? Concubines? I'm entirely confused as to what happened here. I'll, I'll, I'll visit her grave, I guess. I'm not sure why, but I expected to find solitude at Gurley's grave. How I was mistaken. Unfortunately, I ran into her old husband, Tobe. <laughs> I had hoped he would be civil, but instead he made a scene, screeching so loudly that the god Godi had to calm him down. Interesting. So where is this guy at? He's right there. That's odd. Hmm. I haven't a clue. I haven't a clue at all. But yeah, what, uh... My liege armed thugs attacked me while instigating the rumor of a plot in Skane. I barely escaped with my life. Oh, what was she doing in Skane again? Because we got our son there. Oh, did I already do what I wanted to do there? I think I did. Let's have her go study technology. Um, we'll do it over here. Yeah, because I think I was planning to assassinate the one guy who was here or something like that. Oh! No, wait, though. Hold on. We're looking for Denmark's liege. He's still defending. We're eventually going to get that. So anyways, the thing that Arumba has done in some of his streams and that I'm going to be attempting to do here is as soon as the war ends, I'm going to select these forces and attempt to see if I can toggle Looter. Um, they'll have to be in friendly lands. Oh, well the whole not having attached units, that could be bad. Um, the following units are attached. Can I not attach them? Can I unattach them? Okay, let's bring them there. Order allied army to attach to this army. Let's see, so who's there? Liu Bichi? How many forces are there? 605. Or... Trying to see if I can get them to go away. Alright, so the bishop is continuing to preach. Should we embrace Jesus? We'll lose 500 prestige, gain 250 piety. Pretty much all of us become Catholic, Catholic though. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Oh. Oh no, that screwed things up here. No! I can't believe it. I should have ended the war there. I messed that up. I did not know that was going to do that. Oh, because let me guess, it takes away my cast of spell eye. Oh no, so becoming Catholic. I think I lost the cast of Bella there. Oh no, no, no. I have made a horrible mistake. Well, fudge. <laughs> Alright, well, I really need to get this then. 
He just needs to end his war there so I can claim the stupid things. Grr. Those raiders are leaving, so we can stand down now. All right, and now that we've stood down our forces, I can do a holy war for Mecklenburg, but might bring people into it. A border dispute. The only thing is doing the border dispute, I lose piety and I lose gold, and I don't have that much gold to lose. Fudge. Oh, and I have various chiefdoms and that sort of thing that I can claim. But I really need to get this... Uh, the uh, Kingdom of Denmark here. Oh! He's just a defensive pack now. I can do it! I think anyways. Let's see. So we got Kingdom of Denmark. I need the money. Oh, I need the money. Can I go reading in some of these places? Let's see. I think I can. Oh, so the King of Saxony is that way. He's Slavic, though. Alright, let's bring up a little force here. The Slavies and the fleet. You guys are as a looter and embark and head over here. And then we'll grab whatever loot we can from these people. Well, we've become Catholic at the very least. We'll see what all else we get from this, though. Hi, Chief Wecta. The usurper has declared Holstein their war for Dago's claim on Holstein. What the hell? All right, bring forth the rest of our forces here. You are just going to stay back there. And we can call our allies in, might as well do that. And of course we have these tribal armies showing up all of a sudden. I need good people here. We'll put Toast there, put him here, and we'll put him here. Okay. And hopefully they can defend that location there. In the last few days, my son Ada has not been able to keep any food or drink down. He is suffering from food poisoning. So the middle flank has fallen, but the sides are going against it. Yeah, that's not good. Defeat! Oh, hell. Message about arranged betrothal. Um, Bavarian Revolt. That guy and this person. It's a bastard of the dynasty, so sure, why not? There we go. No, Ada died. No. Oh. Uh, we still have well, actually we only have two male heirs now. Communism and Communism the 2nd. That's not good. That's not good at all. And 
then let's see. So West Francia wants to marry my daughter. Oh, the full-on king. Sure, why not? All right. Um, it's not letting me merge. Oh, because they're looters. Okay, there we go. Now they're merged. And you know what? We're just going to put everyone into one flank here. And then we'll just put the best commander in the middle. All right. Because since this is a event spawned army, they're all going to be in the middle flank anyways. Oh, and it's going rather well. Okay. Follow them. Destroy them. And they are heading to Hamburg next, so we'll follow them there. Because pretty much we want to wipe out this army as much as possible. And in doing all of this, we might just win the war. Let's head back, take this back over. Ah, uh, I hate that we're losing this money now. And the King of West Francia wants to form an alliance. You know what? That's probably a good thing. I can call him into this war, but I don't think we really need him right now. And one thing I am going to do, I'm going to burn down this little tribe and try and take as much loot as I can here. At least theoretically that's going to work. Alright, one of our children is lacking focus. Come on, you almost got the tribe there. Victory, okay. Chase them away. Smugglers. Ah. Uh, my steward isn't really that incompetent, all things considered. 16 is a pretty good stewardship. Right now. All right, end the war. Enforce demands. We got some gold from it. We can usurp the title. We better be able to, darn it. Yeah, <laughs> he's at war again. Really? Are you serious? And he's at war. He's in three different wars. Okay, if I have one big complaint about Crusader Kings 2, it's the fact that you can't usurp titles when people are at war. That, that's a little irritating. Alright, well let's take a moment and go over some of our stuff, because we haven't actually gone over the stuff about being Catholic. So, let's see. Catholic bishops may pay tax to the Pope rather than their secular liege. Catholic rulers can set up anti-Pope. The Pope can excommunicate. The Pope has a whole bunch of powers. Rulers can order adult unlanded courtiers to take the vows. So let's see, do I, even though I'm tribal now, I don't think I necessarily have to go to war every two years now. I'm looking through it, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so it does look like I'm able to uh, just work on building up some money now. Likes new obligation law. Demand religious conversion? No, that's not gonna work. Communism the second? Are you going to? No, you're not going to. Oh, I should look. Um, 
All right, so communism won. <laughs> he's he's part of us, so I don't have to worry about him. Can I demand her religious conversion? Yes, good. That way their kids will be raised properly. And I guess now our steward is gone. Okay. Well, we can bring in this guy. At least to get one powerful. Oh, wait, this was the guy that. Oh, he's incapable. That's why we were going to another guy. Okay. Oh, no. Communism the second is now starting to not do so well. Although he's uh, also kind of turned against us. Ugh. What is going on now? Oh, we have raiders going on. Lovely. Oh, they're all the way down there. That's what's going on. Okay. I see what's going on. So right now, I am trying to figure out... Well... Okay, so communism the first is the one that's going to be the big takeover. And fortunately, he's the one that's Catholic. Let's look at the stuff in Sealand because that's where we're going to be doing our upgrades. I upgrade a training ground for 600 prestige that'll eventually upgrade when I get a castle and all that. Let's see, after the council meeting, Chancellor Communism asked me to exchange a few words in private. Apparently he has uncovered a rumor concerning a rare artifact. Communism believed there was some truth to the rumor and urged me to have a search arranged. Sure, why not? And our steward is gone? Maybe? Might be. Oh, wait. Ugh, all right. We'll uh, bring on communism the second into our fold. And he likes us. Can we get him to convert? Yes, thank goodness. That way we don't have to worry anymore about that. Can we get the wife to convert? I don't even know if she's here. Chancellor Communism. Oh, I guess because she's not really part of our court. Chancellor Communism has uncovered several clues indicating that Captain Change Liang of Crane Band possesses important information regarding the rumored artifact. However, he is unwilling to talk, and Communism wants more spies transferring from their regular missions to target the captain. It hurts discovery chance and plot power, but we're really not looking to do anything plot-wise right now, so I guess we'll be good. My chancellor is just improving relations, all that stuff. Oh, this is what I need to do. Oh, look at that. Look at that learning skill of 30. Wow. That's impressive. Um, So I need to convert these areas over. Because otherwise, they're eventually going to just go real bad for us. So let's start in our capital here. All right, uh, so the King of France, let's see, Duke Frederick of Lower Lorraine. Where is Lower Lorraine? So that's part of Lower Lorraine? I guess so. I guess we can join that then. Alright, 
so long as I still have some money, I should do okay. I'll just have to watch it to make sure it doesn't go too low. Alright, so y'all start moving down here. Although... Let's see... Oh, that's just Norse culture... Or can we? I don't know if, uh... If being Norse, we can still go through the little areas around here. Maybe? Oh, it's over. Cast this ally is no longer valid. Alright, well, let's go after these raiders now. No, why are you taking attrition? Darn it. And this is probably going to go poorly. We have Tos Holmger. There we go. Actually, it's going all right. I thought it was going to go poorly. But it seems we were able to take care of them. And we even captured the uh, Sverker. All right, what can we do with you? Can we ransom you for 26 gold? We could execute you. Hmm. Torture, execute, imprisoned. Lords of the Kingdom of Norger. Oh, these guys. I think I can afford to upset them. Yeah. Goodbye. All right. Democracy of Holland has formed an alliance with Gunnar of Mechlin. Democracy, our nephew. One of the other guys that uh, Pickle Mike has named. He's actually pretty decent. Oh, he won't convert for me, really? Boo. Alright, well... We are still waiting for all of this mess to end. He's defending, defending, and defending. Let's see... I suppose I could fabricate some claims. Might as well do that. Let's fabricate... Fabric... Fabricate... A claim on the place that we were going to take over. Alright. Communism is looking for more diplomats to aid him. Uh, that's gonna hurt opinion, like, a lot. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We already have people not exactly liking us too much because we're considered a heathen, so gotta be careful right now. Oh, democracy is now dead. Died of the great pox. Interesting. A son was born to communism. We got a new son, yay. Well, we'll name this one democracy since the previous iteration of democracy has now just passed away. <laughs> All right, well, while we're at peace, let's see, can we adopt feudalism? We need absolute tribal organization. Okay. Well, if we were gonna do that, we have the support for it. Unreformed pagan tribal vassal. So long as we get our people away from being pagan, we can make it work. 
Uh oh, we lost our spy master. My liege, my work and Rastuku seems to have come to fruition. Uh, we'll use it. All right, let's get a new spy master in here. We want someone who's Catholic. That's my wife. We got a bishop here that could do it. Um, anyone that we can bring in. Join court, yes. Not many. We have this princess. Let's see, how old is she anyways? She's 24. She'd be pretty good, I think, to bring in. So we'll invite her to court. She has arrived and will. Oh, I was going to take her, but apparently she does not want to uh, take on the role, apparently. For whatever reason. Requirements we have any honorary, honorary titles to grant her. So we got to give her an honorary title. Hi, Almoner, that'll work. And then can we make her a counselor? I'm not entirely sure why it's not giving us the ability to do it. Ah, bah humbug. We'll look through here. Okay, so this person is willing to come here. It's nine, uh... Oh, wait. That's what I need to do. Okay. We have Aust, Courtier, and Say. Let's bring him on. Invite to court. Yes. Alright, what do we do with you? Can we marry you off to one of our people? Well, who do we have? Family. Communism, he's married now. Communism, the second, is married. Alexander died. What happened? Oh, commun- or, uh... There's democracy. I was like, where's democracy? But democracy came to the other- other communism. Bring you on. You are Catholic. Let's get you married. Arrange marriage to... Will you marry her? No. What about Yursa here? Lowborn males must marry matrilinearly. There. That'll work. Ta-da! Just call us the uh, wedding matcher person. All right, folks. So I think we're going to end it here for today. Um, big thing we did today is we converted to Catholicism. So always a fun and exciting little thing. We're still waiting for these guys to finish up all this mess. So that we can finally take over the Kingdom of Denmark title. I am doing my best to hope that my king is going to survive long enough that I can take it. Because if he doesn't survive, that's going to be bad all around, and all of this is going to fracture, and then all of our work will be for nothing. But we'll find out what happens. So, thanks for watching, folks. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click on the little bell icon so you stay notified on all of my streams and videos. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.